his last Ryder Cup was in Paris. Went 2-0, two, two and oh, Justin Rose. So much experience, though, from the 43-year-old. <laughs> Saw plenty of that in his victory in that Pebble Beach that spurred his run to make the team. He's a great competitor, Justin. Uh, you know, he's, he's been there and done it. He's a, a veteran of the Ryder Cups. And I don't think Bob could ask for anyone any better than, than Justin Rose to partner on the four ball. Up ahead for birdie, Justin Rose. He's almost got a free go at this with Bob. Been so close. Has it? Has it? Yeah, a lovely first putt from that distance. He's just to get the pace of the greens. Chance for Justin Rose to win the hole at the second now. To go one up for Europe in the first three matches, should it drop. Yeah! At least for now, that's what's happened. 33 for Justin Rose after the birdie from his partner, Robert McIntyre. Home is short, Lagrain Clark through the back. This is Rose out of the thick stuff though, tough to get it up there. It's kind of okay, Bobby still to play, McIntyre. Great start for him, but in the first today. Rose at the fourth. Oh my. Does this look good? Rosie, really one of the great ball strikers of you know, our generations. Really uh, looks at the swing from an engineering perspective, right? Well, Justin Rose has a part to go uh, two up in his match. This at four. <sighs> go to six and Justin Rose is second. Just control the spin here, get it pin high and give yourself a chance. Look at this one, look at this one from Justin Rose. So a little bit of pressure on Justin Rose here. This is to tie the hole. Great reply. Awesome golf, I'm sure now. Rose at seven. Mm. Really nice, well played right there. Kind of what we were talking about, he kind of held it up against the wind, gave it a little extra spin. Good shot. Well, before McIntyre, Justin Rose with this opportunity to tie the hole. Great reply. Great reply, Justin. Fist pumps the air. Yep, that's what we need. Back to Justin Rose. Second at 10. Two down in this third match. Oh, just need a wee spark. Oh, and Rose is the man with the lighter. What a fabulous shot from Justin Rose. Yeah, Rose, they have to get one back, the two down. Huge putt here for the Scot and the Englishman. Well done, Justin. Great birdie. Back to one. One so much better than two. Pretty obvious, but it is. Over to the 11th. McIntyre's already had a, a go and, and has gone over the other side, we understand. This at the par four is second. 
Delightful, and the Wyndham Clark just on the back edge of the green in one. Europeans have got it back to one down. It's Justin Rose, birdie putt after a good bunker shot. And that's a really good up and down. And Clark still has got a short putt for, to tie that hole. Just savors it, doesn't he, Justin Rose? To the 13th with Justin Rose. Just 128 yards. He's a beautiful mid iron player with short irons. Carried it a little bit far. Back to 13 for Justin Rose. Went left right away there, didn't it? Never really got it online. This is to tie the hole from Justin Rose. Big putt, two down. Oh, brave, brave. He's been clutch inside 10 feet today. The he's been really, really steady. So he was hanging to the margin, but nicely hold there from Justin Rose. Go to 15 in the fairway. Justin Rose. Two down. Needs something special, Hunter. He's coming in really high to that front pin. Really good shot. I mean, this is probably one of the tougher holes I've seen today with that front pin. Guys being so far away from the flag, hitting over 200 yard shots. It's pretty impressive. Rose to win. 15. Two down. Oh, Justin. Oh, my son. For Birdie to win the hole. Oh, oh, oh. Not to be, but it is a four. We don't know quite how close they are. They've got two putts for par. Well, one putt each for par, I should say. He thought it would break right, so you can hold one of these. They're two up, two to play, another half point guaranteed. Over to you, Justin Rose. That's just magnificent. That's a three. And you've almost taken a drop, so you'll be chipping for three. And Wyndham Clark, 12 feet, 10 feet for three. Or we're going down the 18th again. Jesus, Hunter, we can't take this. Now Rosie's complimenting a uh, wood out of the fairway bunker here. He switched. Uh, he's smartly switched to an iron. Thank God. I think he realized he's not crazy. He's going to just do the smart thing and keep. He's a great wedge player. He has great con distance control, so hit to your strength. Yeah, it looks like he's on the flat land. Perfect spot. Justin going right to the face of the sun there. There's a little ridge in front of that flag. He's got to fly it all the way to the hole. It's going to take a hop forward and then should be able to put plenty of spin for it to come back, but got to get it there. Just like that. Well played, incredible distance. Inside Max, I mean, they're, they're looking good here. I mean, they just keep, just keep plugging along. Remember, they haven't been up since the fourth hole today. These two, Rose and McIntyre. So Hovland made, Ram made. Now it's over to you, Justin Rose. This to tie the match.
just extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. What a day for Europe. Wow. Come back from two down with two to go to have the match and stop the U.S. from winning one point on the first day of the Ryder Cup. One full point. They end up with one and a half. Wow, just dominant from start to finish, really. You think of what they had to do down 18 to, to get that done, to get those three matches tied for Europe. It's been a, a historic day. How clutch was that part <sighs> yesterday afternoon down the last to tie the match? What a man to lean on. The looking shot from Justin. Yeah, it wasn't good for my side, but man, it was impressive to see. Boy, that was, you could feel it with that play, all his emotion that came out. One five zero. For Justin Rose, back at the first. Oh, catch it. It's a nice reply there, just below the hole, with him on a pipe pop. Tall on the shoulders of Justin Rose with McIntyre, who's uh, picked up already. Justin kind of worked the ball anyway once, but looks like he's going with a very, very straight shot. That's Beautiful. Shot. I mean, that's fantastic, right where you want to be. Beautiful distance control. So last to play here, the only one with a, a birdie putt still coming, Justin Rose. Clutch putter like the one he held last night on 18, wow. Said he never really had one of those big moments in the in the Ryder Cup in front of all the team. Boy, did he embrace it. You could see by his celebration, it was unbelievable. For Justin Rose, you know, he's so calm normally. Is to win the hole, to go one up for Europe. A couple of putts still to come from the USA. There for par. Rose loves to play. McIntyre's not close. Speed set it into about five feet. Oh, nice little kick right there for Rose. Good chance. Better chance for America. Important putt here for Justin Rose. You can see the marker of Jordan Spieth in front of him. He's going to give him a teach, isn't he? They knew this was coming, the Europeans. He's going to stay calm. Focused, keep playing good golf. They've been the better team so far. From the bunker, Justin Rose, technically to win the hole. He's played that lovely. Got a little bit of grab on it. Left himself a nice putt though, nice easy putt. Similar to the putt he hold last night on 18, but the same distance, same same line. You got a good look at it from the bunker as well as it rolled past the hole. Oh, he walked that in. I mean, he walked that in very confidently. Very nice up and down. Stay one down. Justin for birdie up here on six. Down the hill. So going. Oh, he's hold it. Look at that emotion from Justin. Back to back emotion, back to back putts. Up to the second of rows at eight. Slap bang in the middle of the fairway. 
Oh, that's a slight miss, Clever, I'm thinking there. Yeah, just a club too far. He flushed it right over the top of the pin and it nestled down. You can see a little bit of it here for Justin Rose. Third shot at eight. Yeah, lovely chip. He had a chip to try and make three. Now back to the ninth. Justin Rose playing for birdie here. Birdie and to win the hole as well. To tie things up. <laughs> Lovely. And that would be all tied up going into the back nine. Meanwhile, match three, tenth hole. Justin Rose has managed to creep onto the front edge. Man, has he been good today with the putter. Wow. He said when you're looking at the, the scoreboard early on and you see six up, three up red, these back two games are so important for Europe to keep their distance. I mean, it's been a little bit of a risk with Jordan Spieth. He hasn't really played that good this week. Could put him out twice today. Um, boy, it, it, you got to get the payoff in this afternoon. You cannot lose. You can't even tie. So that's that's a heck of an effort by Bob McIntyre, Justin Rose. Back three holes to eleven. Justin Rose. We've been talking about this. The first two yes. games and still, still going with driver. I don't see unless you can get it up miles past up the right, past the uh, pin. I just can't see driver there. Justin, brought along by Luke Donald for moments like this. For birdie on 12. one's going to the wire, doesn't it? Rose at 13. Oh, I think he likes it. I mean, he should. Oh, a bit unlucky. Boy, that really dug to shore the hole and spun up the hill. Great shot. Ten hours of sunlight on these greens, and that still dug in heavily before the pin. Unlucky. Good shot. Justin Rose, this, to win the hole on 13. They had a couple of chances, weren't they? Because McIntyre's not far away either. Oh. And he's going to be needed. <sighs> Justin Rose has come down to some sort of metal fairway club here. And see what happened to McIntyre. Might be a little bit easier for him to turn over. He would love to just hit a high hard draw here and let the ball kind of bounce. And yeah, he's done it right down the middle of the fairway. Great drive. Justin Rose at 14 from 217 yards. Remember the pin all the way back there. Hang on. Is it leaking? Is it hang leaking? Hang on, he says. Hang on. Fall into the bunker there right in the middle should be okay though Justin's a heck of a short game shouldn't be too difficult for him Rose at 14 gonna come back gonna come back trickling trickling Rose for par, back at 14. Justin Thomas will be watching closely, not far away from his line. Oh, Justin, wow, he's been good this week. Man, that was a good putt. Got a ton of pressure on Justin Thomas right now.
Come right. Come right. Try to hit a smash fade there, as you can see, and he double crossed it. Kind of hit a pull draw. Go. Look at the people up on the hill. Oh, man, it's cool, right? I mean, this is just a great amphitheater. Two matches out on the golf course right now. Where else would you want to be? Up to the line. Got to fly it all the way to the hole. Looks like he tugged it from that line. Yeah, it's kind of going to spin. Good distance control, just that line kind of tugged it left, but on the green, putting for four. So, Rose first. Remember, for the tie, he's holding some important pots out there as Justin Rose, and time to find another one. We leave it up to Robert to knock it in. <laughs> Little too far left from Justin Rose. Boy, he's going to have to show off his short game there on that shot. That's going to be really tough. He's going to have to hit some sort of runner up the hill over the knuckle and right, right down. Well, the contours, you can see them. He's got to get it over that ridge. It shouldn't spin from this sand. And then release. Good, not great. Would have wanted better, a little braver. But it is a birdie attempt coming up. They're in command of that match, remember. Boy, they look right on top of each other, don't they? I mean, they look really close. This is... Well, it's a nice place to hold a putt to win a match on Saturday evening at the Ryder Cup. There's a few people looking on at this. Could take the spoils right here and now. Remarkable from Justin Rose. He seizes the moment and he grabs the first point of the afternoon for the European team. They move to ten and a half and within four points of winning the Ryder Cup. He's got one and a half points from two. He birdied the last to tie the match in Friday four balls alongside Robert McIntyre, who he's partnered this week. Really stepped into the role as a mentor between the two. And he hasn't lost in his last three Ryder Cup singles matches. Wow, we're seeing some tee shots off the first. Three days into this contest now. They're used to the atmosphere. First tee is always slightly different. He has looked as assured as we've seen Justin Rose for many a month this week. In the world of golf over the last few years, Justin getting on uh, to his 40s. He's here for his experience, his calm, calculating nature. Stood him in good stead so far this week. One and a half points to the good. Doesn't quite chase its way up onto that back tier. So advantage Cantlay. Rose will be putting first. Hovland's putt, we've seen it. Justin Rose steps into his shoes. Up, oh, turns left now. More pace on this one. Too much pace for the line. So just about three and a half feet left for the win ahead of Patrick Cantlay. This to tie the hole, amazingly for Justin Rose. Didn't think that he would have the chance after the approach from Cantlay. Yeah! It's going to feel like a bit of a win. Rose ends the pain for Cantlay there by conceding the match. The, the match. I didn't think they'll be doing Wait that a minute, right Wait now. a minute. <laughs> conceding the putt. And we go back up to Justin Rose at the second. Yeah! Big tumble. Big tumble. 
I mean, coming out that rough, he must have been playing for a flyer or something there for it to chase that much. One of those balls that listens to its master. Big tumble, he said. And boy, did it tumble too much. First to play down here at the par three, Justin Rose. It's probably one of the toughest pin positions, that one right at the back. Really difficult to get your ball on that on that ledge there. So coming off uh, his ball, so he's down in that middle section. One for a tier to contend with, but it is for birdie. This for the par. Still see the marker of Cantlay down. That two for a three. That was tracking from the get-go. He's just conceded the par putt of Cantlay after he hold it. Great three there from Justin. He is up against it today. Justin Rose has got a birdie putt to win the hole to take this game back to all square. Also, also to get the red off the board, which would be unbelievable if you think that. All matches so far, and, and there wouldn't be a red mark up there. Is it, is it getting there? Oh, he's got the line, he's got everything apart from the pace. So the dash of red will stay for now as they head to the sixth. Can't lay one up. He's got 10 feet for par. That's seven. This is horrid for Justin Rose in the bunker. Is it going to hold? Is it going to hold? Yeah, that's a great shot from there. A really, really awkward stance. He's played it splendidly. Par part here for Justin Rose. Quick one down the hill. Door is open for Cantley to extend his lead. Take a look at outcome IQ powered by Cap Gemini. Advantage heavily in the probabilities to Patrick Cantley. 79% to win this match, just the 11 to Rose, but things can change quickly. 217 to that back left pin. Yeah, that's, that's hitting shots like that is one way you can bring the percentage down on a tough, tough hole like that. It just looks so so shallow when you're on that fairway. Here's Justin Rose on the eighth. Long birdie putt. Again, good, a good putt there. Catlin will have a putt to win the hole. A couple of looks for birdie. First for Justin Rose at the ninth, the par five. Your teammates, Cantley will have to make to tie. Rose has been so strong with the putt of this week. Boy, any time he needed a putt, he's given it. I mean, he's just poured it right in the middle. It's been really impressive. Cantley's found the fairway. Justin Rose with less than driver, like many are, down 10. Purely just trying to find the short grass. Not sure he has. No, he's head down straight away. Hit the same tree that John Ram hit. Oh, there it's just dropped. Oh, I can still see it. Looks like he could get a break here. Took a while to pinball through the, through the tree there. First to go down here. Rose. It's a great break from Justin Roser. I mean, really bad shot. He probably thought he was in the water. And now he's going to be exactly where Colin Morikawa was, and he has an incredible short game as well. It's a great position to really be in after that tee shot. Third at 10 for Justin Rose. See if he can do what Morikawa did and get up and down. Big swing, smooth. Hit it way up there, kind of spit it back like that. Wow, that was nice. 
Boy, that is so much artistry and skill in that shot. Justin Rose here for par. This would be a superb up and down from way short of the green. There he is. Oh, a little finger to the mouth. Be quiet, please. There's the captain, Luke Donald, clapping on, coming to give him a little bit of a pep talk, fist pump, get the crowd going. Justin Rose. It's so clutch with the putter this week. Put the tie. I never really got it online. Falls three down to Patrick Cantley. Going to 12. An eagle putt here for Justin Rose to win the 12th. Remember Cantley well passed. He's not guaranteed a birdie. You can see his marker and Rose. Well, he's held some good ones out there. That takes the stress out of it. He's still got a chance of winning that hole. That's what's so nice when you win the hole before a par three. You get the honor, you get the tee, you get to put the pressure on the opponent, stick it up there like Justin just did. Man, he's been so good. Probably one of the best putters statistically this week. Downhill. I don't think it does much here. It's got to play just a little right to left. Looks good, looks good, right in the middle. Cuts the lead down to one. Rose at the 14th tee, only one down against Cantley now. Driving accuracy so far this week at the 14th, 65% of BMW driving stats. Hit the three wood, trying to avoid all the danger, and he hits it right into the bunker. Oh, boy, he's hot about that, knowing the importance of hitting that fairway, especially. Rose out of the fairway bunker at 14. Rose out of the fairway bunker. Great angle, but quite 184. Can't be short. Can't be short. Oh. It's short now, it's going to take it's just like a skier going down the hill. It's going to get going pretty fast for a little bit. Wow, look at that. Not much green to work with there at all. Yeah, he knows it. Can't lay on the green. Uh, this third shot, Justin Rose. Got it back to one. Can't lay as he hits it. Get up there. Oh, it's almost perfection. It's going to stay, it does. Gives him a good chance of par. Can't they on board the green and with a birdie putt, though. <laughs> this is to tie for Rose. Be a great par out the bunker. Come up short, chipped up to here. Brave. No. So this pushed it, so he goes two down again. Rose, he's fighting so hard. It means so much to him. Justin Rose at the 15th. Cantley in the right bunker is great opportunity for Justin to hit the fairway. This pin, the screen is so difficult to hit it really close. He's begging for it, begging for it. I listen very well, something he says. God, blimey, Rose up the hill, second to 15. like a good line high draw in there oh wow the best shot we've seen all day into the screen you can see how much slope there is back there it's so hard to keep it within 20 feet of the flag the importance of hitting the fairway right there for justin big big shot putting a lot of pressure on patrick justin rose this is a big one isn't it this is to win the hole at 15 against cantley to reduce the deficit to just one He liked that, back to one, and now the infamous 16 to come. Fantastic putt from Rose, beautiful tee shot, beautiful second, and the perfect putt. Rose onto the 16th tee, beg your pardon, Sorry, Sam, no, there we no, go. No, yeah. <laughs> Driver, I think, it has to be. Yeah. Get in the hole! Oh, no. yes, 
just needs to get in the bunker. Okay, you have a chance from the bunker, not much from the rough. You see Captain Donald running in. Justin Rose in one bunker over another. Plenty of green to work with. Maybe too much. On your camp. Oh, nicely played, but just shy on a couple of yards of pace. His partner in the heart of the green in trouble for Rose there. Only two more holes after this. He's one down. This is a must make part. He'll still play 17. But he'd love to hold this. Get the half here and just be one down with two to play. It's just extraordinary, David. What a performance from Justin Rose. Captain Donald watching on in the throng of 40,000 others. They rise to their feet to applaud Justin Rose, and why not? As we go to Rose at 17. Tough pin to get, huh? it's not in a, in a collection area where it'll all feed round to it, and so he's the perfect shot. You don't want to go left. Come on, Justin! Oh, oh, looks good. Oh, oh, Line's awful oh, good. Yeah. Oh, it was right at it. Half a club shot, but it's there. Slightly heavy. <laughs> If you were asked to explain what the word focus means, a good look at this man's face when he's over the ball would be a good description. Right to left, up the hill. If you can't believe how hard he's hit that on these very fast screens. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.